morning, welcome to Having Brighter Days. My name is Deanna and today we're gonna be playing with some resin. So I pulled out a, a wine caddy mold uh, and I also pulled out two new coasters. I, I'm gonna probably change the camera angle for you, but I used my little bubble leveler and this is where they were the most level. Uh, so I'll, I'll adjust that for you so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But right now I kind of wanted to show you what colors we'll be using. Today I have blue in the pigment dye. And I'm going to use a little bit of silk blue mica powder. And I have white. So of course with these colors, oh, and you can see my shells. I'm going to go ahead and do a beach theme today. I do have some smooth shells here. And I also pulled out my a variety of sizes of seashells. And I'll be kind of messing with those and seeing which ones fit best in these molds. So, oh, and of course, more importantly, my resin. I do have a two part resin. I have two cups. Um, I did half a cup of part A, half a cup of part B in both of these. So I have them sitting ready to go. And it is very noisy. It's kind of Everybody's coming home right now, so I'm probably just gonna turn the audio off and maybe play some lovely music for you guys. Um, and so let's get started before this uh, resin starts to turn on me. because I don't know how to measure yet. Um, I'm going to let these set and then come back probably about 24 hours and demold them and see how they all turned out. All right, so these have um, started to cure. They're getting pretty hard. Um, I saw someone else do this um, and I wanted to test it out. Uh, just ignore these two little things. They're like a little extra resin that I decided to fill up. So I mixed up my two part resin and I have a little bit left here and I have some white that I mixed up. And I wanted to kind of give these waves a little more life. I'm not completely satisfied. So with this leftover uh, clear resin, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of fill it on my ocean side, just kind of give it a enough to do the holder. Uh, I should be good. I might. Oh, no, look, I'm gonna have to steal it from one of my extra projects. let's go back. I'm going to add some more clear out here in the ocean. And I'm going to try to take it to, I don't have that much room to fill up the coasters, uh, but I did leave a little bit if I wanted to do like another clear coat. And as I was watching some videos while the baby was napping, I saw this technique and I wanted to give it a try. Let's bring it in just a little bit more. Oh yeah, definitely glad I made it more clear. I don't think I was going to be able to stretch. Oh, I'm dripping. Okay. It is like four o'clock in the morning. I cannot sleep for some reason. So I decided let's come down here and let's see how these are coming along. And thought I'd finish them up before everybody starts waking up and starting their day. Oh, 
Oh, I'm getting to the edge. I'm overflowing on that side. Okay. And that kind of went a little too close to the sand. Just a little bit more. Look, I got more. Man. Oh, yeah. I'm right on the edge. Scooper there. Come on, stop dripping everywhere. That'll do as well. There we go. Trying to make sure I'm all the way at the edges. Okay, let me grab. I'm just going to kind of drizzle the white. Try to get it as close as I can. Um, and you'll see it, the clear, just kind of grab that white. Come off the edge. Okay, I'm going to kind of tilt it the other way for this side. Oh, shoot. I'm dripping everywhere. Let's see if I can pick that up. Let me grab a napkin. I don't want a big white glob right there. Okay, let's do these two over here. I don't know what happened there. I didn't even see that. Have a... Let's see. Let's see if I can make that work. Oh my goodness. Are you... Let's see. Can I maybe just kind of spread that out? Okay. I don't think I can fix that one. So in with the napkin. There we go. Just kind of... Pick it up, let the napkin do the work. Okay, now I'm gonna take my heat gun and I'm just gonna blow the waves out to the ocean. I'm gonna get it to go that way. And I hope it moves. I didn't let uh, my resin sit for 10 minutes like I kind of normally do to let it settle. I went right ahead and added it to the mold. I'm gonna get wispy. better let me get my get any of those bubbles out quick quick I just had the heat gun to it and just get those one more time oh I got that napkin right there what I did do I'm gonna kind of move you a bit you can see before I started the camera I tested it out on these two so I have those two that have already been kind of pulling the waves. Now what I don't know what I should do is if I should wait till these cure and then come back in with a clear coat just to 
make it even because when you put your you know your wine glass or your cup or anything that you put on top of the coasters I don't want it to be uneven so I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen there we're gonna let it cure we're gonna learn learn with me if you already know please tell me what I should do because I'm still learning um, so now yeah, I'm just gonna let these sit oh I love that oh my look at what it's doing right there I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer let's hold on okay look at how that's moving I know my lighting's not the best. It's just my normal lighting. Come on, focus. You can do it. There it goes. So that's just kind of moving through. Let's take a look at this one. Come a little closer to these. So I think that's maybe the best way to do it is let it cure then maybe come back later and do the waves. Don't do the waves the first time. And just kind of let the ocean and the shore cure and then come in. I need to come back in with my torch and get these bubbles. Um, and then come do ocean layer after. All right, so now we're gonna let these sit. I'm gonna cover them up so I don't get any flies and bugs and dust. And we'll take a look at it in the morning. So it's now time to demold these. They did move um, a little bit more than I wanted to, like this one. This one, the waves got away from me. But I believe the trick is to wait till your ocean and your sand cures and then come and do the wave layer. Why can I not? Oh no, did I melt these? I think I melted them. You guys, those are brand new. I just got them and I already melted it. Okay, see? I'm not happy. I am sad. Okay, well, let's see. Did I melt these? I, I melted these, guys. Look at that. See, it's stuck. Okay. Yep, I melted them. That is also... Uh, yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. I'm sad. I don't know if I can undo those. I might have to cut those off. Let's see if I can do at least something. No. Everything. Every I melted all of them. Look, I can't even take that off. How did I? Yep, see? Oh, oh wait. Nope, that's melted. Yep, I melted it. Oh. oh my goodness. Well, you know what? This is how you learn. Um, yep, I can't. I can't take that off. Did I melt these? Yes, I did. Okay, well. Yep, I can't demold. Oh, I just ripped that one, see? Nope, yep, they're melted. All the way around. Well, let's, I want to give you guys at least some win. Can we get a win in this? project. So these are um, the napkin coasters that I like to make. Let's, at least I can show you that. There you go. 
if um, you're curious on how I made these, I do have uh, a video that shows four different methods to get the napkin inside resin. You should check that, you should check that one out because that one's really cool. I did four different techniques to learn which one I liked the best. And then here's another one. There's that one. There we go. Is this one done? Um, this, oops, Emma. This one still feels a little soft. I'm gonna let that one sit. It's still kind of uh, moving around in there. And this one was a, like another sticker that I had that I wanted to test out. Oh no, did I melt that one? No, I didn't melt it. It's just, it's still, it's not cured all the way. Or did I melt it? No, I didn't. I just overfilled it a little bit. No, I think I melted this one. Well, I'm not even, there you go. There's our win for the video. I know this wasn't the <laughs> video we wanted. Um, bummer. Well, I'm going to get some new molds. We're going to try this again. And we're going to try it with um, that second technique that I did and see how that one looks. All right, everyone. I want to thank you for watching these videos. Um, I hope you had fun. I hope you learned uh, something that I learned. Learned something new. Learned with me. Um, have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.